can't believe you're the same guy that sits down in the pew for me on Sundays. You think you can just steal my clients? I was relieving them from your incompetence. I quit. One more. Just one more. Just one more. Stop doing this. Yeah, that's what you always say. This isn't church, it's business. The sooner you learn that, the better. A fan is simply defined as an enthusiastic admirer. So let me just come right out and ask you a question. Are you a follower of Jesus or are you really just a fan? Death. I suppose more than any other word, that word defines what it means to follow Jesus. We die to ourselves and follow Him. What if I died, Gary? You didn't. What if God's trying to tell me something? Or like what? Excuse me, sir. Do you think you could spare us a little something? We have this huge house and all this stuff, and I almost lost my family. Obviously, we need more than this. A woman needs to know a man is looking out for her. There are rules in life. All the good intentions in the world can't change that. You get to decide to make less money. But we're the ones who have to live with that. Why can't you see that? You know what I see? I see that kid. To do nothing is not an option. And so Jesus turns to the crowd, and he turns to you and me. And he asks the one question that will ultimately define our lives. Are you a fan or a follower? Because you are Saint Eric the Martyr. We all know we're the ones carrying your cross. Go on, walk away. You've been walking away from God all your life. Why should today be any different? I walked away from him because I thought he was like you. But we sell all of our stuff. We quit our good jobs. We sell our homes. I mean, it stinks, but we suck it up and we do it anyway, right? I mean, this is what we're supposed to do, isn't it? Haven't I always done what you've said? Why are you punishing me? 